Kirk's Turning Point USA uh, held a Young Women's Leadership Summit where they were uh, conditioning women, of course, to be good submissive partners. Uh, they want them to save themselves from marriage. You know, just the typical standard dorky conservative stuff where they're getting super involved in, in people's personal sex lives and what people do in their bedrooms. Now, there was a moment where they brought out uh, someone they referred to as a cute servative. And uh, let's take a look at how that all went down. <laughs> I just want to introduce Kyle by saying this. We talk a lot about, oh, <laughs> hey you. We talk, I wanted to talk a lot about what kind of man you should want to be attracted to. Hey you, or if you're a dog person. Dogs are the best. Men, men your number one goal is to protect your family and to stand strong in the face of opposition from culture and evil. And Kyle Rittenhouse is a man who does that. God bless Kyle Rittenhouse. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the support and everything. Thank you guys for the prayers. And thank you guys for being strong women. So, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse, a guy who opened fire on three protesters in uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, the first time being after someone threw a bag at him uh, and he turned around and decided to shoot. Uh, now, he was acquitted in that trial, uh, but. Those people are dead. Those people, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, you, OJ was also acquitted. Congratulations. Yeah, people get mad at me when I talk about other people's looks, so I guess I'll just keep it to myself, whatever. Uh, so this is the state of the Republican Party. Um, they celebrate people like George Zimmerman, Kyle Rittenhouse, and then they bring out this killer and he killed two people. He was acquitted, but he killed them. That's the only thing he's known for. No, they like him because he killed two people. That's the only thing he's saying. Oh, you went to a protest against police abuse and you killed two people. Oh yeah. A strong man, yeah. A strong man, yeah. A strong man, yeah. Oh my God, he's got a swastika on his forehead. It's it's interesting because you come at this from a place of anger, and uh, but like the thing that I don't understand is how do you look at Kyle Rittenhouse and think, no, I want him to be the leader of my family. He's the perfect person to protect me. For me, strength is, all right, I'm in a little bit of a scary situation, right? But uh, why don't I see if I can deescalate, right? Like, how can I be an actual leader? Actual leader, by the way, wouldn't go out of his way to go to a protest where he obviously disagrees with the protesters with a gun, like showing off his gun, obviously meant to provoke the situation. Now, I do I do find it super hot if uh, someone does pose a physical threat to me. And I'm not mad at the women, I, I get it. And it, propaganda is a hell of a thing, and they probably were uh, dealt with propaganda their whole lives. You should be submissive, the men are better than you, they will make better decisions. I mean, what an absurd thought that a woman should not should just let the man make all the decisions. Maybe he's missing some information. Maybe he's not right all of the, a man is going to be right all of the time. This is the kind of propaganda that they brainwash these poor uh, women into. By the way, it's religious fundamentalists of all stripes do the same thing. You think it doesn't happen in Islam? It does. And then women then turn around and say, "Oh no, I want a burqa. I want to be covered head to toe, and I want to only listen to my husband. I want to never talk to another man, and I don't want to make decisions. The only part I'm angry about is, I mean, I'm mad about the original propaganda, but now at this point, those women are saying, "Oh no, I'm volunteering for it." Part I'm mad about is celebrating Rittenhouse. Like, mm -hmm. oh, this guy went to go pick a fight uh, and and then wound up killing two people because somebody threw a plastic bag at him and a skateboard or whatever, right? I just think that this is the most expected outcome of, of conservatives toward Kyle Rittenhouse imaginable. Like we've seen it play out over and over again. That's why I'm not, like it's hard for me to get angry at something that I predicted. So ladies, again, for me, feminism, feminism is all about doing what you feel is right for you. You wanna stay home and raise your kids, that is perfectly normal, natural, a lot of women wanna do that. The problem is in America, we don't have that luxury, we don't get to choose. Because a single income household means you're gonna be living in significant poverty. The idea is once you're married to someone, you should just trust all their decisions. Should Nicole Brown Simpson have just trusted OJ's decisions? If you're a woman, you think they have your best interests in mind? No, they do the propaganda about how you should listen to men because they're brainwashing you for their own agenda. A man should always lead and he's always right. 
I think it's the dumbest philosophy in the world, but that's what the conference is about. So enjoy. I'd rather be a social justice warrior than a piece of fucking shit, okay? How yeah. about that?